Hey Hub Heroes, this is Jorge Fuentes from the Sidekick Strategies team and today we're going to take a look at how to build an email list within HubSpot. Check it out. So we're going to proceed to build a list within HubSpot that will be sending out emails to. And now uh, for this one, we want to actually implement a quick thing. So on the left hand side, we're going to check that we have contacts. So I'm going to go into CRM, then contacts. As I can see, there's a lot of contacts and all of them have an email, which is good. If we have some that don't have an email, let's try to keep them out of the list just because they won't receive anything. Uh, nothing will be sent, but just for the purpose of maintaining uh, current and or updated metrics for that audience. We want to make sure that we have only contacts that have an email. Now on the left hand side, if we go back to CRM and then go to lists, we can begin to build our email list, right? So in this particular case, I actually want to target absolutely everybody within my database. And so on the left hand side, I'm going to create a list over here, create list. Um, and then I'll just call it email equals known, right? For this particular example, which will be very broad. And I'm actually going to create an active list. Keep in mind that there's just these two types of lists uh, the more common one is active just because it dynamically updates records over time as they meet a specific type of criteria or filter and static lists are usually the ones that get created automatically when you do an import and or if you uh, just want to create a list and manually add specific contacts to it uh, in a very manual way and so I'm just gonna click on active list for the moment and we're gonna click on next at the top and over here I'm gonna add a couple filters so I'm actually gonna add a filter here and then just uh, type in email and actually that is not the way to do it we just want to go into contact properties first and then we want to type in email we want to search for email uh, contact information email and then I want to say that the email needs to be known right so it is a known known value and what that essentially will mean is that we can actually send an email to the these people so uh, perfect uh, now it actually gave me a total audience size of about 48 contacts which is basically my whole database so I'm gonna save this right now save the list and then now we actually have our email list what would be up next uh, for us to do uh, make sure that you have an email so on the left hand side we're going we're gonna go into just below uh, CRM we're gonna go into marketing and then we're gonna click on email once we're inside email for the purpose of making this quicker I already have a quick email crafted here so what I'm gonna do is just proceed to edit it uh, but do know that you can create an email by going into the top right hand corner create email and then go from there so I'm just gonna create a click on this new email and it takes me straight into the edition of that particular email let's suppose that I'm ready to send this out and I'm gonna click on the send or schedule tab right here and then from here I'm actually gonna go into selecting my recipients and this will be the email equals known list that I just crafted and that's as difficult as that gets now we actually have a, a, a specific email list that we can send this email to which is going, going to be just a one-time blast and I can actually select to send it right now to all of these 48 recipients or schedule it for later if I wanted that to be sent perhaps maybe on Friday at perhaps let's say at uh, 9 a.m. I can definitely do that and it would prompt me to review and schedule. It will, uh, HubSpot will give you some errors if in case there are some errors that need to be fixed. So for example, in this case, I have some required fields. So let's actually go ahead and fix that. So even if we can go both ways, one can be going into the settings and actually fixing that. Or if I just click on this link, hyperlink right there, it'll take me straight to the subscription, subscription type, which needs to be updated. So I'm actually gonna select marketing information here. And then over here, I do wanna add a subject line. That's important. So let's actually, uh, say welcome back just as a uh, very simple type of email and then let's go over here into review and schedule again and as you can see it now prompts us into being able to send that whole email out to this particular list and if I just click on schedule it was it will schedule it for me and if I cancel this and go back to send or schedule tab and then click on send now now you'll actually see that if I click on review and send, it will prompt me to just send it over to all of these contacts right this moment. And that's pretty much it. Now you're able to send out that specific email to that particular contact list, and you'll be on your way to go to execute any email marketing campaign within HubSpot. Remember that there's also uh, different ways in order for you to add contacts to your HubSpot, such as by manually uh, creating them within the platform. And also you can 
add a CSV or Excel file import into your database and from there do the segmentation into the particular lists ju just as we saw within the video. Remember, education is great, but the execution is where it's at. So go out there and be the hub hero that your organization needs today.